This is Sophie. This evening, while Sophie is preparing her dinner, she remembers that Kelly told her she must count her carbohydrates when using both manual mode and the smart guard feature when she eats. This is because when in the smart guard feature, the autocorrection adjustments are not intended to correct large mismatches in carbohydrates, although they will help you when you slip a bit when counting. Sophie is using the smart guard feature and she knows that she must enter a specific bolus amount 10 to 20 minutes before she starts a meal. To make sure she calculates the correct bolus amount, Sophie uses the bolus wizard setting. When Sophie is in manual mode, she should set up the bolus wizard settings that were calculated by her healthcare professional. These settings include carb ratio, sensitivity factor, blood glucose targets, and the active insulin time. When Sophie is using the smart guard feature and she wants to deliver the bolus, she should press the down button to enter the bolus menu or open the bolus screen. When Sophie has done this, she enters the grams of carbohydrates that she plans to eat. If she is using the smart guard feature, her most current SG will automatically populate. She will know it is her SG because the green graph symbol will be beside it instead of the red blood drop. If correction insulin is needed, it will also be calculated. If Sophie has tested her BG before eating her meal using the AccuCheck GuideLink meter, she should press the meter back button to send the reading to the pump quickly. Then the BG value will automatically appear on the pump screen. The BG should be confirmed on the pump by selecting Yes. The meter BG will automatically be used on the bolus feature screen for the next 12 minutes. Insulin for carbs will be displayed together with the total bolus, total correction and food insulin. She then selects next, followed by deliver bolus. After delivering the bolus, the pump returns back to the home screen, which shows the smart guard feature blue shield with the current sensor reading. Sophie knows that she must not use the bolus feature for a period of time if she manually injected insulin with a pen. Sophie knows that manual injections are not accounted for in the active insulin amount. This means that the bolus feature could deliver more insulin than needed and cause hyperglycemia. If her glucose value is reading high, Sophie knows that she can enter her current BG and allow the pump to administer its recommended correction bolus. Tonight, Sophie is planning to go to a restaurant to have dinner with her best friend. She knows that she can discreetly see the information about her pump on her Minimed mobile app and that her husband, Peter, can see the information as well. This makes her feel better and safer. Sophie knows that if she uses the Minimed mobile app and her loved ones use the CareLink Connect app, it allows her care partners to remotely view her pump and continuous glucose monitoring, CGM, data on their smartphone anywhere and anytime. Sophie can be followed by up to five care partners, but she needs to manually provide her CareLink personal username to them. Once they send a request to follow her, Sophie needs to accept the care partner's request using the Minimed mobile app. The CareLink Connect app enables care partners to securely view Sophie's glucose levels, graphs, trends, and high or low glucose alerts from their device for greater peace of mind without being intrusive.